Hi, so I'm uh, Jeff Brown with NVIDIA. And uh, you asked the difference between the current architecture, uh, which we codenamed Fermi, and our last generation architecture. Um, they're entirely different, um, basically from the ground up. And we've re-architected the new newest quadros around what's been called the Fermi architecture. Um, some fundamental differences you've probably seen in the performance. Um, we've increased uh, two aspects dramatically, the um, floating point performance, as well as the triangle performance. And in order to do that, we had to completely re-architect the way that we process triangles. Um, I think the most obvious change is we've gone to scalable geometry engines. So we've gone up to four scalable geometry engines that basically will parallelize the computation of uh, geometry. So you're starting to see some effects like tessellation, very large model complexity being supported. The other major dramatic difference is in the amount of uh, floating point horsepower uh, that we've enabled in the, in the GPU. So um, that becomes really critical for high performance computing applications, but also for video processing applications, video encoding, image processing, video effects like you see in Adobe CS5. So again, the two major differences are going to be lots and lots of geometry performance through scalable geometry engines and a brand new floating point uh, capability. Uh, literally teraflops of floating point that's being harnessed through, uh, through CUDA for all sorts of apps that range from HPC to things like uh, Adobe CS5. Uh, lastly, uh, the support for very large graphics uh, memory. Um, so with the Quadro 6000, we support up to six gigabytes of frame buffer. So all those things in combination are really enabling uh, a lot more capability in this generation. And 